This is our final chapter in grade 7 math. It's chapter 12, and it's called Working with Data. As you can see here, there are five sections for this chapter. 12.1 is median and mode. 12.2 talks about mean. 12.3 is range and outliers. 12.4 is the effects of outliers. And then 12.5 is choosing the best measure of central tendency. So we'll go through all five sections. There'll be a little bit of review time, and then we'll give you a test. So today, let's get started on 12.1. Median and mode. Determine the mode and the median. So for some definitions to start with, mode is a value that occurs most often. So if you've got a set of numbers that represent something, if you've got numbers that repeat, and the one that is most often, that is called the mode. The median is the number in the middle when you put the group of numbers in order from smallest to largest. So if you've got all the ages of everybody in this class and you list them in order from youngest to oldest, whatever the middle number is, that's going to be your median. So if you've got five numbers, the third one in the list is the middle number. So for instance, Calgary Flames won five hockey games in a row. They scored the following number of goals in five games, so three, five, two, four, and five. That's the number of goals they got in one game. Question is, what is the mode? The mode, we said, was the most. And you'll see here that there's only one game where there was three, only one where there was two, only one where there was four, but there were two games where they scored five goals. So uh, that's just at a quick glance. We can start by arranging the numbers from smallest to largest. So we take these five numbers and sort them 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5. Once you've got them sorted, it's real easy to spot anything that's got duplicates. And in this case, the number 5 is duplicated twice, and it's the only number that has a duplicate, so that makes 5 the mode. If there was more than one uh, mode, uh, there's more than one mode if more than one number is repeated the same number of times. So, for instance, in this set of six numbers, we've got two fives and two sixes. They both occur twice, so we can have two modes. We've got five and six are both modes. Now, if there are no mode numbers that are repeated, that means there's no mode. So there has to be repetition for there to be a, a mode. Uh, so in this set of four digits, three, four, eight, and ten, nothing is repeated, so there is no mode. So let's go back to the hockey game, uh, the Flames and their goals. What is the median? So again, step one, arrange the numbers from smallest to largest. It's the same process for step one, for both mode and median. Sort them, smallest to largest, like we've done here, and then find the middle number. Well, you can do that. Uh, you can say, okay, I'll cross one off both ends, one off both ends, there's one left in the middle, that's my answer. That's going to be the median. So you start at each end and work your way to the middle. And you can do it with your fingers too, you can just, okay, move in one, move in one, and there's that answer there. So four is the median in this set of data. So using those little bits of information on mode and median, please go ahead and try and do the show you know.